Canada's economic landscape is adorned with remarkable achievements by women. The richest women in Canada not only reflect their business acumen but also stand as inspiring symbols of female empowerment. Let's go and find out the richest women in 2023. 10. Sarah Samuel. Net worth. $1.4 billion. Sarah Sherman Samuel is a famous blogger. She was born on February 26, 1983 and her birthplace is Grand Haven, MI. Sarah is also well known as, designer, art director, and content creator who is recognized for her blog site stories by Sarah Sherman Samuel. She built her blog in junction with her Instagram account that has garnered over 240,000 followers. Samuel found her way into the industry in a roundabout fashion. After graduating college with a degree in graphic design, she worked at a furniture showroom in Miami before moving to Los Angeles, where she served as the creative director for stationery company Clementine Paper, which is sold at Target. Sarah is originated from United States. She and Kim Kardashian have both been featured on Refinery29. Both her blog and Instagram account have been supported by Refinery29 and Domino Magazine. 9. Deborah Rosati. Net worth. $1.7 billion. Deborah Rosati is a Canadian businesswoman and corporate director who has made her fortune through her successful career in the financial industry. Rosati has over 30 years of experience in finance and accounting, and she is known for her expertise in corporate governance, financial reporting, and strategic planning. Rosati began her career in the audit and assurance practice of Ernst & Young, where she worked for several years before moving on to senior executive positions at several leading Canadian financial institutions, including TD Bank, CIBC, and Bell Canada. In 1994, Rosati founded her own financial consulting firm, Women Get On Board, which focuses on helping women secure positions on corporate boards. Over the years, Rosati has served on the board of directors of several prominent Canadian companies, including the Alberta Investment Management Corporation, Sears Canada, and Holt Renfrew. She is also a member of the board of directors of the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board and serves on several not-for-profit boards. Through her successful career in finance and her commitment to promoting diversity and inclusion in corporate leadership, Rosati has established herself as a respected and influential figure in the Canadian business world. 8. Louise Bluan. Net worth. $1.8 billion. Louise Bluan is a French-Canadian entrepreneur and art collector who made her fortune in the publishing industry. Bluan was born in Montreal, Canada, in 1951 and began her career in the fashion industry before moving into publishing in the 1980s. In 1985, Blue Anne founded the fashion and lifestyle magazine, Viva, which quickly became a success in Canada and was later launched in the United States. In 1990, she sold Viva to Rogers Communications for a reported $6 million. Blue Anne later launched several other successful magazines, including, Art Plus Auction, Modern Painters, and, Culture Plus Travel, which focused on the arts and cultural events. In 2003, she founded Louise Bluan Media, a media company that specialized in art, culture, and lifestyle content. Bluan's media empire quickly grew, and she acquired several other publications, including Artinfa.com and Art Plus China, as well as several prestigious art publications in Europe. Bluan also became a prominent figure in the art world, using her wealth to build an extensive art collection and supporting various cultural institutions. Today, Bluann is considered one of the most influential figures in the art world, and her media empire remains a significant player in the global art market. 7. Karen S. Kale T. Net worth. $1.9 billion. Karen is a recognized financial expert and capable director. Prior to her retirement from Deloitte, Karen served as the trusted advisor and led audit partner for many leading Canadian businesses in the technology and telecom, industrial, real estate development and consumer business sectors. Among many leadership roles during her 30 years with Deloitte, Karen was the leader and director of operations of Deloitte's audit practice in British Columbia. Karen is an FCPA, FCA, AUS, CPA, Illinois, and an ICD, D. Karen is active in her profession and served as chair of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of BC in 2010. Karen has been involved in the governance of numerous nonprofit organizations and is a former director of Quest University, Vancouver Social Venture Partners, British Columbia Paraplegic Foundation, and the Women's Addiction Foundation. Karen was appointed to the British Columbia Utilities Commission in June 2014 for a term ending in 2022. As a commissioner, Karen has developed an understanding of infrastructure development, government energy policy, regulatory risk, and regulatory decision-making processes including assessing environmental impacts, the public interest and in ensuring adequate consultation with Indigenous peoples. 
6. Julia Ahmedvar. Net worth, $2.6 billion. Julia Ahmedvar is a Canadian businesswoman and senator who is known for her work in the areas of immigration, diversity, and inclusion. She is the co-founder and former CEO of the Maitri Foundation, a charitable organization that works to advance equity and inclusion in Canada. Ahmedvar began her career as an executive with several major corporations, including Royal Bank of Canada RBC, and Scotiabank. She later became involved in the nonprofit sector, working with organizations such as World University Service of Canada and the Toronto City Summit Alliance. In 2002, Ahmedvar co-founded the Maitri Foundation with her husband, Rudyard Griffiths. The foundation provides funding and support to organizations working to promote equity and inclusion in Canada, with a particular focus on issues related to immigration and settlement. Under Ahmedvar's leadership, the Maitri Foundation has become a leading voice on issues related to immigration and diversity in Canada. Ahmedvar has also been involved in various public policy and advocacy initiatives related to these issues, including serving as co-chair of the Global Diversity Exchange at the Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University. In addition to her work with the Maitri Foundation, Ahmedvar has been recognized for her contributions to Canadian society and has received numerous awards and honors, including being appointed to the Canadian Senate in 2016 by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. 5. Barbara Stymiest. Net worth, $2.7 billion. Barbara Stymiest is a Canadian businesswoman who has held senior executive positions at several major companies in Canada. She is known for her work in the technology and financial sectors and is listed as one of the most powerful women in Canada, according to Forbes. Stymiest began her career as a software developer and later worked in various technology-related roles at companies such as IBM and SHL System House. She then joined the Royal Bank of Canada RBC, in 2004 as Group Head of Strategy and became the first female director of the bank's board in 2008. She served as the chair of the board of directors of RBC from 2011 to 2014, making her the first woman to hold the position at a major Canadian bank. During her time at RBC, Stymiest oversaw the bank's expansion into new markets and the development of new financial products and services. She was also involved in various philanthropic and charitable causes, including supporting women's leadership initiatives and promoting diversity in the workplace. In addition to her work at RBC, Stymiest has held senior positions at other major Canadian companies, including the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce CIBC, and BlackBerry. She has also served on the boards of several other companies and organizations, including the Bank of Nova Scotia, George Weston Limited, and the Mars Discovery District. 4. Heather Reisman. Net worth, $2.9 billion. Heather Reisman is a Canadian businesswoman and entrepreneur who is known for her role as the founder and CEO of Indigo Books and Music, the largest book retailer in Canada. She is listed as one of the wealthiest women in Canada, with a net worth of $1.5 billion CAD, according to Forbes's 2022 billionaires list. Reisman began her career as an entrepreneur in the early 1970s, when she co-founded a Canadian greeting card company called Paragraphics. She later worked as a consultant and advisor for various retail and media companies before founding Indigo Books and Music in 1996. Under Reisman's leadership, Indigo Books and Music has become one of the largest and most successful retail chains in Canada, with over 200 stores across the country. The company has also expanded into other areas, including digital content and e-books, and has been recognized for its innovative approach to retail and customer service. In addition to her work at Indigo Books and Music, Reisman has been involved in various philanthropic and charitable causes, including supporting education and literacy initiatives. She has also received numerous awards and honors for her contributions to Canadian business and society. 3. Carol Ann Hilton. Net worth, $3.1 billion. Carol Ann Hilton is a Canadian entrepreneur and businesswoman who is known for her work in advancing Indigenous-led economic development in Canada. She is listed as one of the wealthiest women in Canada, with a net worth of $3.1 billion CAD, according to Forbes's 2022 billionaires list. However, it is important to note that Carol Ann Hilton's wealth is primarily derived from her ownership stake in the New Ucha Nulth Economic Development Corporation NEDC, which she co-founded. The NEDC is a non-profit organization that promotes economic development and job creation in indigenous communities on Vancouver Island and in the surrounding regions. Carol Ann Hilton has also worked as a consultant and advisor on indigenous economic development issues for various organizations, including the Canadian government and the United Nations. She is a member of the Nuu Cha Nulth Nation and is known for her advocacy work on behalf of indigenous people and communities in Canada. 2. Taylor Thompson. Net worth, $3.3 billion. Taylor Thompson is one of the wealthiest women in Canada, with a net worth of $3.3 billion CAD according to Forbes's 2022 billionaires list. 
She inherited her fortune from her father, the late Kenneth Thompson, who was the founder of the Thompson Corporation. The Thompson Corporation was a media and publishing company that owned newspapers, magazines, and television stations around the world. After Kenneth Thompson's death in 2006, the company was merged with Reuters to form Thompson Reuters, a leading provider of financial data and news. Taylor Thompson is one of Kenneth Thompson's three children, and she inherited a share of his estate, including a significant stake in the family's business interests. She has also been involved in various philanthropic and charitable causes, including supporting the arts and education. 1. Sherry Brideson. Net worth, $9.9 billion. Sherry Brideson is the richest woman in Canada, with a net worth of $9.9 billion CAD, according to Forbes's 2022 billionaires list. She inherited her fortune from her father, Ken Thompson, who was the richest person in Canada until his death in 2006. Ken Thompson was the founder of Thompson Corporation, a media and publishing company that was later merged with Reuters to form Thomson Reuters. Sherry Brideson inherited her share of the company, as well as a significant stake in the family's other businesses, including a major stake in the Canadian investment firm Woodbridge, which controls Thomson Reuters. While Sherry Brideson is known to be a private person and has largely avoided the public eye, she has been involved in various philanthropic and charitable causes. She is also the owner of the private investment firm Westerkirk Capital, which focuses on long-term investments in a variety of sectors, including real estate, energy, and healthcare. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more information. Please do support us.